Hello, I'm Matthew Koffenberg, physical therapist and owner of Back in Motion Physical Therapy in Purim, Minnesota, as well as Park Rapids, Minnesota. Today I'm going to continue um, the series that I started a couple of episodes ago um, called The Five Best. So in this series I'm, talk I'm basically taking a joint at a time and I'm going through what I think to be five of the best exercises you can do for that particular joint to hopefully prevent some common injuries um, in the future. Now obviously we can't prevent everything, but these are some exercises that I do believe if you do them fairly regularly, um, you can reduce the likelihood of, of having some common injuries. So today we're going to talk about the knee joint. Now there's lots of problems that can go on at the knee. The most common problems that I see at the knee are going to be um, osteoarthritis of the knee. Um, we'll see what's called IT band syndrome. We'll see what's called patellofemoral pain syndrome. Um, so lots of different things can happen at the knee. So we want to do some exercises to try to prevent these um, occurrences. Now the knee is quite complex. Um, the knee is, it's a difficult joint to um, exercise properly because it can be easily irritated. So if you decide to try some of these exercises that I'm showing you today, just be advised, don't do them every day. Most of these you're going to want to do two or three times a week. Um, if you ever do start experiencing any pain with these exercises, please stop. You know, you're very welcome to give me a call at any time too. So the five exercises that we're going to talk about at the knee. The first thing that we're going to talk about um, is aerobic exercise. It's really been shown that aerobic activity is very beneficial for the joints, particularly the knee joint. Aerobic activity would be um, running, biking, swimming. Um, what we're finding is when we do aerobic activity, we actually increase properties within our body that decrease inflammatory uh, processes. So by doing aerobic activity, you lessen um, the chance that you will have inflammatory conditions. The big inflammatory condition is arthritis. So by doing some aerobic activity, you can reduce the risk of developing arthritis in the future. So that's the first thing. Now aerobic activity, uh, like I say running, biking, swimming, um, you, or, or going out for a nice walk, you want to do aerobic activity four to five times per week. Now the rest of these exercises are going to be more for strengthening and that's the two to three times per week. Um, so a strengthening exercise that's really quite valuable for the knee would be a lunge. Now lunges you have to be real careful with because you can irritate the knee but if you do them properly they're very very helpful for, for preventing problems. So the the first strengthening exercise I would recommend is a lunge, but it's a lunge with a, with a slight twist in it. You really want to protect the knee, so you really want to engage the glute muscle or the buttock muscle. So the best way to do that is when you do a lunge, instead of just going straight down with the lunge, you actually want to go down and actually twist your body. By twisting your body, you're going to stimulate the glute. So when you go down, what I recommend is actually putting your arms out. And when you go down, you twist your body off to the side. And then you come up. So it's down and up. Very effective exercise. You don't even have to do a lot of them. Two sets of eight is going to be plenty for that one. Second strengthening exercise that will help with balance as well is a single leg squat but to protect the knee, you really need to do it on, what I, on, a, on a decline. So I've got, I've got this area set up um, to, to give us this decline. And what you want to do is you want to step on it. And I'm, and I'm just using some boards. And you want your foot pointing downward at the angle. And basically you stand on one leg and you do a little mini squat and then you come back up. It's not a big squat at all, it's a real tiny squat, but you want to hold that position for a couple of seconds and then you come back up. It's a phenomenal exercise to start working the inner part of the quadricep muscle, which is really critical to prevent kneecap problems. Very effective exercise. And again, you don't have to do a lot of those. You know, two sets of eight would be plenty. Third strengthening exercise can be done lying down on your back. 
Now, what I like about this one is it also incorporates mobility or movement of the knee joint. And that will improve blood flow to the knee, which will reduce the likelihood of um, arthritic conditions. So what you do here uh, is you just tighten up your thigh muscles. You just squeeze it. You raise it up. And then you bend it back. And down. Squeeze up, bend, back, and down. And this one you repeat 15 to 25 times. Helps strengthen the thigh muscle, and it also gets some nice repetitive movement in the knee to increase some blood flow. Those are the three strengthening exercises I would recommend. Finally, you always want to try to keep your muscular system mobile, um, healthy, happy. You want to keep it um, stretched out. The easiest way to do it is to actually get a foam roll. Um, and you can, you can do a foam roll on the quadricep, you can do it on the IT band, you can do it on the hamstring. And what you do is you just you put all your pressure on that foam roll, you lay on that foam roll, and you roll yourself back and forth for a couple of minutes, two to three minutes. So. To demonstrate the hamstring, so the hamstring is the muscle back here. Basically, you sit on it, cross your legs, and then you just kind of roll back and forth on the foam roll. And you would do the exact same thing for the outside muscle. You would lie on your side, and you also want to get the front where you would lie on your stomach, and you would just kind of roll back and forth. Those, in my opinion, are the five best exercises that you could start today to help prevent some knee problems in the future. Please call me if you have any questions, 218-346-2464.